What's up? What's happening, my people? Welcome to Sports Life and Politics TV. My name is Sam. And I'm going to go over a few little topics today. I, I made a video recently, United States versus Russia versus Ukraine. And in the video, you know, I made some assertions and said some things that's starting to turn out to be true. Now, I made my video, this video that you see over here in the black in the top uh, left-hand corner, I made that March the, let me see, what's the date? March the 1st, if I'm not mistaken. Brown is increasingly... Let me see. I made it March the, yeah, March the first. And in the video, I said some certain certain things in the video. Like I said that the CIA was guaranteed one hundred percent on the ground in Ukraine. That's one assertion that I make. Let, let, let me show you this video's uh, MSNBC uh, YouTube clip. Uh, covert actions by U.S. to assist Ukraine could be in place, says Navid uh, Jamali. And let's see what Naveed Jamali has to say. I'm going to get to it. Get straight to it, man. Let's see what he has to say, y'all. I want to bring in now Naveed Jamali. He's a Newsweek editor and former FBI double agent and author of How to Catch a Russian Spy. Here we go. We'd be very happy to have you here this morning. These are very scary scenes that we see uh, coming out of Ukraine. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to look at this from President Zelensky's point, uh, from, from his perspective. And, you know, he's visibly angry with NATO, as you just saw. And you understand that because it was just two weeks ago when he was standing on the world stage saying, hey, I've got 200,000 troops at my border and the world needs to help. Um, I, what should we be doing for Ukraine right now? Because I have to tell you, for people who don't wake up and read eight papers before the sunrise, it kind of looks like the world is just standing by watching as we watch Putin lay waste to these cities where women and children and families live. You're absolutely right. It's a terrible situation. It's already a human tragedy that's unfolding. And I think President Biden specifically is tasked with a, you know, a really almost impossible task, and that is to help the people of Ukraine, support President Zelensky, but also to keep the U.S. and, frankly, NATO out of a war with Russia. You know, this is a real challenge. We've heard a lot about no-fly zones. President Zelensky asked the U.S. and NATO and both refused a no-fly zone. It's important to understand that if we send combat troops, whether on the ground or within the air, they're going to come in conflict with Russian forces. And that is undoubtedly going to lead to escalation, war between the two countries. So we just can't do that. But your question about what can be done, and you know, this is something we've reported on quite a bit. We have quite a strong feeling that there is a gray area for covert action. That is to say, U.S. military via the CIA to help Ukrainians, not just with weapons, but to do things that allow for plausible deniability. As you can see, they said the CIA. And I'm going to take you back in my video, and I'm going to go straight to the little part. It's like a 15 second clip and I said 100% the CIA was on the ground. Now he's telling you that he's not telling you for a fact but he's he's hitting around and this guy's an ex double agent and all this and this is how agents look. This is how spies look. How this man look is how spies look. They not all fancy like 007 James Bond. They look like everyday average citizens. Some of them be short and pudgy and uh, out of shape. You, they want them people to be as like indistinguishable as possible from the regular regular citizen. And this is perhaps the greatest area where the U.S. and perhaps NATO and other forces can get it. Look, we've seen the Ukrainians use Turkish drones. You know, you never know who's flying those drones. There is things that can be done. It's unfortunately, or I should say fortunately, we're not going to... And I said in the video that they're using stealth drones. And I'm glad that he said that. Because I'm going to take you in my video and show you that I'm not just one of these people who talking. I actually got a little foresight. And I don't have to look at no news channel to figure some of this stuff out. Because I'm a small time of story. I won't say no big time of story. But I do love history. And I do I can recall some of this stuff at the drop of a hat. And the reason why I knew the CIA was, the CIA was on the ground. Because they was on the ground in Afghanistan during this, under the same circumstances. And the United States admitted that they was helping the Ukrainians, but they didn't say how. They just said no troops on the ground and no troops in the sky. That means we're going to have CIA on the ground and we're going to have unmanned stealth drones in the sky. We hear about a lot of this stuff because it probably falls under that covert action. He said probably falls under the covert action. Now let's go to my video, which this video is from 
March the 1st. Mine's from March the 4th. Let's check it out. Let me skip you straight to it. Eighties, they went in there, and by the way, I also want to say this: the CIA is on the ground in Ukraine. They're not going to tell you that, but they are one hundred percent on the ground because they were on the ground in Afghanistan. And we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna kind of prove that to you. It's gonna be uh, one of Biden's people, part of his cabinet. She's gonna explain that, and we'll go over that video in a minute. So let's keep signing and applicate. And let's go somewhere. I'm going to go to another little small part of it where you can see exactly that I'm not just some coop, some nigga on here that don't know what he's talking about. So she's a U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. To, uh, to defend themselves. Now, that was, see, if you just heard that in simplistic terms, you would think the United States is just going to, you know, send some food and some No. The United States said they're not going to put troops in the ground, on the ground, but they're not going to put troops in the air. That means they will send the CIA. They have a movie about the Afghan Russian war called Charlie Wilson's War, where they sent the CIA and they gave the damn Afghans all them stinger missiles and uh, RPGs and AKs and ammunition, the same stuff that they end up using against the United States. That's neither here nor there. But the CIA is there, and they say they're not going to put any troops in the air because uh, the president of Ukraine wants to have a no-fly zone, which that would mean the United States would have to have their their uh, planes like that. And I don't really like to go over a video I just made, but I just want you to to prove to you that you can, a, a regular person like me can be a step ahead of the media and what they're telling you. You don't have to even go to the, sometimes you don't even have to go to the media. Going to the media nowadays, you just go into a propaganda machine at this point. They're going to tell you so many half truths. They'll tell you two truths wrapped in 15 lies. And you know that people say, you know, that's the best way to tell a lie is to, is to mix it with the truth. So F 35 Raptor and F 17 and all their, all their uh, fighter jets, they would have to be in the air. To, to, to enforce a no-fly zone. But they do have unmanned stealth drones. You heard it here first. I guarantee you the United States have unmanned stealth drones. Because she said they won't be there won't be any men in the sky. You gotta read these key words that these people say. And, that, and you know that's important, not just in politics but in life, is reading in between the lines reading body language is because they say 60 percent of human communication is body language extremely important to see what people saying and how they're standing how they're looking and being able to distinguish when people give you like something that's really basic but they're giving you so much information that's called reading in between the lines and that's important especially in politics you better be able to read in between the lines and i always had a small gift for reading in between the lines i ain't perfect but perfect at it but I'm damn good at reading in between the lines and hearing what people are saying and what it really means. Okay, we, we got that little part. I want to go to one more part, and this video will be over with. As you can see, the title of my video, United States versus Russia versus Ukraine, what does this say? That my video is from the 4th. I mean, from the first, March 1st. This video is from March the 4th. Like I said, I'm ahead of these people. Look again. What does this video say? It says... Putin's fight, fight in Ukraine is just a proxy war for his fight against the U.S. I have to say that loudly because I've already said that. And now they're just now coming out three days later. I'm ahead of these people. It's not that I'm ahead and they don't know, but I'm ahead in reporting to you because they don't want to report this type of stuff. You might say, oh, you got a small channel. Nobody's seen. All it takes is one person to see my channel and they'll take your ideas and they will put it on TV. Don't you dare fool yourself and think that they won't because they will. But let's look at that. As you can see. Willing to do this, I think should sober up everybody. Uh, we've been debating what what his intentions. But are I just really want do. to. I ain't want to go, go into what he's talking about. I'm, but I want to just make sure you get this title in the corner. It says Ambassador 
McFall, Putin's fight in Ukraine is just a proxy war for his fight against the U.S. Now, I'm going to go back to my video. I'm going to go to the 4 minute and 20 second mark. And then this video will be done. But I just want to make sure that people understand that you know, I'm not just talking. They kind of want this Eastern Bloc back to push back the United States. This war has, it has something to do with Ukraine, but this war is really against the United States pushing closer to Russia. I'm not, this is not about, you know, whose side you're on. This is about the truth about why each side is doing what. As you can see, I'm not trying to be a know-it-all and I know I'm right, but no, I know that I, I already knew I was right. That's why when I speak in terms as 100%, there's CIAs on the ground, 100%, they're using stealth drones. When I was younger, uh, in the early 2000s, I used to love, they used to have a channel called the Military Channel. I think they changed it to American Heroes Channel. I haven't watched it in an uh, extremely long time, but I used to love that channel. And I learned so much about military technology, strategy, and all these different things. And they would give like, they would tell you about all the tanks and missiles and how they were using, when they were using, and all the strategic things they were doing. Maybe, you know, the CIA were doing or the FBI, just certain groups were what they were doing. So it's just one of those things that I've always kind of been into. So, you know what they say, history tends to repeat itself. So me predicting this stuff is because America is a country that's circling the drain. If you guys don't know this, this country is dying. It really is. It's on the downside. In ancient Rome, they would call it the bread and circus, where you're more focused on food and entertainment than anything else. That's what this country is. That means the empire is dying and it's on the downside. And leave no doubt, America is, has seen its best days, and its best days is behind it. But it still has a lot of fight in it. Don't confuse that because I say it's on the downside. It's like LeBron James being on the downside. He might can't play as good as defense, but he still can give you 30 points. You know what I mean? So it's just one of those type of things. And I just want to let me play this little clip. The United States is playing dumb on TV, as they should, about not knowing what's going on, acting like they don't know what's going on. But they know exactly what's going on. And Poland and Romania, they have the defense systems. And Russia has... They have new missiles now. They have the, like I, I spoke on in the last video, they have the Satan 1 and the Satan 2. Now these, and these missiles being named the, the Satan 2 missile, that's on purpose. They know what the end times is going to be. Now, you know, some people, not, not, they not into the Bible and biblical, but hey, man, that stuff is real. I'm, I 100% believe in the Bible, but I don't force it on top of nobody. But when they name these missiles the Satan 1 and the Satan 2, that's for a reason. You know, the Bible, you know, the Bible, the first time by water, by water, the second time by fire. But I just want to make this little quick video. Well, it ain't no quick video. It's 13 damn minutes. But I want to make this video to prove that, hey, man, when you come over here and you watch these videos, I actually, you know, I actually got a little knowledge. You might actually can learn a little something here and there. Some of this stuff, like I said in other videos, some stuff you already know. That'd be common sense. But there are always going to be things that you didn't know, things that I might come up or a perspective that you never heard. So that's the whole point of these videos, man. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you and peace.